Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make fantasy beats. I'm gonna break down the secret fantasy scale, you know, just some melody sauce. And as always, before we get started, make sure to go tap in with me on social media at Enviral, but let's lock in. I think I wanna make some drinking type of vibes with this one, like a real magical kind of melody. I'm gonna try to get a pluck uh, or something from Diva. All right, so I actually went ahead and changed the main sound to this Fab Filter Twin Bell, and this is what it sounds like. All right, so now, you know, let's try to put a top melody on this, and I'll show you guys how to make stuff that sounds like this. Uh, to get this kind of fantasy sound, you know, like, this kind of stuff works really well if you're in a minor key, so like, I'm in F minor, and that's my home chord. So this is the F minor scale. So what you wanna do now is like take your second note. So my first note is F, my second note is G. Take the second note, and then the third note, which is G sharp. And then you're gonna play your seventh also. So my seventh note is E flat. You know, okay, second, third, and then seventh. So if I just play these three notes alone, it already sounds pretty good. So like. Uh, you can just change the chord underneath it, but you can still play this melody just because these notes are really colorful notes for any chord in the scale. So, you know, A minor, the first note is A. Again, focus your melody on the two, three and seven. Again, I can just focus my melody on these three notes. Obviously, you should add different notes to it, not just play these three, but just make sure to emphasize these notes. But now let's actually try to put a top melody on this. I kind of forgot how this goes even. Let's fix that ending. I'm actually gonna go into my one shot kit that I finally dropped and get like a pluck or something. Probably just get a bell, copy this pattern, and then I'm gonna delete like the top melodies. What if we get a mallet actually? This one's hard. Damn, bro, this whole time I was locked in and my video wasn't even recording. Like, OBS praying on my downfall, but I'm gonna show you guys basically what I did. All right, so initially we had this. Thought it felt a little empty, so I added this pad from Poison, you know, stock FL plugin, low key hard. Like, really ambient kind of sound. And uh, once again, I'm highlighting the, you know, notes of the fantasy scale. So I'm playing the third down here and then my seventh, you know, and then G, the third, second, seventh. You want to just incorporate this motif in there, like three, two, seven. And this is what it sounds like with the other stuff. We could probably make it a little bit louder, but actually what I put on here is just, uh, I just EQ'd it like a little band pass. And then I put this uh, free plugin called Tall Filter. It's basically just like a side chain. It sounds pretty crazy. Like without it, it just gives it a little bit more breath. And then also I just kind of turned the mix down a little bit. So it's not super like, you know, techno. And then what I'm going to do over here is just make this into an instrument track. 
and choose my fat filter twin so what this does is just makes this instrument like linked in the step sequencer and then also in the mixer so now i'm just gonna add a little low pass with this eq and just automate this now i'm just gonna make the low pass just only come in for this section but yeah, I'm basically doing this to cut out the high frequencies, so then there's a little bit more room to add these two instruments. This is what it sounds like right now. But basically next I added this pad from my one shot kit actually. So this is the regular pad sound. But also I use the sustained slide preset just to make it like slide around. So if I just drag this preset in here, it just allows me to drag in any one shot and then do slides without having to use this little thing over here. But this is what the pattern sounds like without any effects. So I added portal on this return to source preset and then also just EQ'd it a little bit and this is what you get after. So now we have a cool texture that we can bring in, you know, for the verse or whatever. Yeah, but this part feels a little empty. So I added this other lead to fill in that gap between those like little chunk of notes. This lead is also from the one shot kit. It's called, I can hear an alarm, must be morning. All right, shout out Kevin. That's pretty much all I did for the melodies and then I just cooked up the drums. So I just added this little clap, you know. And then next I added the Uptown 808. Shout out Uptown. And then the hi-hats are a little bit more unique. You want to make the drums really kind of bouncy and sprinkly and then next i added this little snare you know super simple uh, and then open hat after that and then i have this snare kind of emphasizing this upbeat over here and then once again over here And then finally, I just added this little kick. I'm just gonna arrange this real quick just to show you guys how to make this like fit better. I think for the hook, I want it to be more like a little subtle. So basically like a four bar intro and then we can have the drums come in right after just like that. And I'm gonna take out the kick for the first half. Take out this maybe. And then the kick can come in for the second part of the verse. And then I'm just gonna do that, bring in the pad. Look, you just copy these drums and then just over here, maybe make a pause in these hi-hats like right here just to make something interesting happen. And then have that kind of pad repeat and we'll maybe just make this kind of like automate up. Yeah, just drop back, you know, simple beat. Like I don't want to overdo it. Yeah, I'm just gonna copy that around over here twice and that'll pretty much be the full beat. Maybe we could have the lead actually come in for the second part of the hook and see how that sounds. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty much my tip on how to make better fantasy melodies. And also, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like, subscribe. You already know, let's run it. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.